Hi, it's Celeste, your canary in the coal mine. Today, I wanted to talk to you about sleep. I could give many of these vid short videos on sleep, and I probably will over time. But today, I wanted to talk to you about the idea that one of the ways that you can facilitate getting really good, solid, restorative sleep is to sleep in a totally dark room. I mean totally dark. I don't mean the neighbor's porch light is shining in the window. I don't mean that there's a little red glow off your clock radio. I don't mean that the uh, standby button on the television set is glowing in the dark. Most of us live in very light polluted environments. Uh, years ago I lived in New Mexico out in a rural area where there was no street lights and nothing. And I tell you when the moon wasn't out it was pitch black. And that's what your sleeping environment should look like. That's what the body wants. So you might, you'll probably have to make some changes to your bedroom. But remember, you're spending a third of your life in your bedroom. It should be a place of healing because that's what your body does overnight. That's why we sleep is so that the body can heal and restore itself. During the day, the body does very little restoration. Most of our activities tear it down in various sorts of ways. So. Um, what you want to do is facilitate all the ways in which your body can get the deepest, most restorative sleep possible. And one of these ways is to sleep in a totally dark room. So take all the electronics out of the room, get yourself some blackout curtains or shades if you have to. Um, I know my drapes in the room were not sufficient uh, to really block out the light and, and make it really dark in your bedroom. And I think you'll find that you're going to feel more restored when you sleep. That the body really needs this darkness to fully restore. There was a scientific study done where they took a little tiny 5 watt small little pen light or something like that and shined it on somebody's skin, not even in their eyes. And I think they used like behind the knee or something and shined that light behind their knee every time they started to go into the deepest parts of their sleep and and it disturbed their sleep. I mean even that little tiny bit, a few watts of light shined on a part of the body that you wouldn't even think had anything to do with sleep and it disturbed the sleep. So I had to, on my healing journey, I had to rearrange my bedroom in many different ways. I'll tell you more about that in other um, others of these lessons, but a big one is I had to go out and buy blackout curtains and then that still let light in around the edges so I had to figure out ways to sort of um, tape down the edges of the, the drapes so that it doesn't let it in around the edges and then it was letting in around the top so I had to add like, uh, this doesn't look very good but I kind of stuffed a towel into the um, behind the, um, um, the drapery rod so that the light isn't coming in that way because I've got neighbors across the street who like to leave their outside lights on all night long. They think they're, they think they're contributing to the neighborhood by doing that, but it's shining right in my bedroom window. And on the side, uh, the neighbor on that side, her kitchen shines right in my bedroom window. So I really have to work hard to have a dark environment in my bedroom, but it really has helped me sleep better. So that's another tip that I wanted to pass along to you is sleep in a totally dark room. So uh, I want you all to get well and stay well. Thanks.